Hey guys, I hope you're doing good today. And happy Canada Day to all my fellow Canadians out there. Okay, so this whole... <sighs> KJ bullshit. So I've got some people I've spoken to. Um, and I've got the cease and desist letter. I've also been informed that KJ is getting sued. Um, so I'm over here licking my chops thinking, you know... Please, 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 please. Something has got to give with this girl. Something. So I'm hoping for the best, but expecting the worst because somehow, some way, she always gets away with everything. But anyways, I need to think positive. What are you two doing? Okay. <clears throat> so somebody on my uh, on my video yesterday, somebody had posted this. They said I've actually spoken to Dion. I did not reach out to him. He reached out to me. He's livid, and he hired an attorney. He fully intends to sue her. His niece completely denies ever making these statements, and they both say they are coming from an angry ex. There's no proof. No CPS report. No photos. No witness other than the ex. No police report. Nothing. I think this might have reached the FAAFO point, and I'm here for it. She needs to have her YouTube taken down. This person posts and says, at 2.27 in my video, the boys lived with Dion's family. The mom wasn't taking care of them while the dad was in prison. Damn, she pisses me off. 401. That's me, Nikki. I made that Twitter account to mess with KJ. Dion and I talked to DMs, talked in DMs before he asked to call me. And I asked for permission to share the DMs and he was very happy to let me. So the DMs I'm going to also read to you is from this person here. He wants it out to prove his niece told KJ to take the post down because she never talked to her. Of course, KJ blocked her and removed the post. He was so upset as well as his mom. He told his mom a couple of times while we were talking that it's okay because he will take care of it. She said it makes her look like she raised a bad son. Oh, that is so sad. 1315. I'm going to give Dion 7M's lawyer info since he needs one in MN and they have a current case. I think it should help both cases. 1347. I just sent the lawyer's info to Dion. I'm happy that this person did that. I said so as much as when I responded because um, I think that will help Dion a lot because what she's doing is fully disgusting. Like wait till you read <clears throat> the season desist she got. That, of course, knowing her, she'll probably ignore, deny, lie. Like, she blocked <clears throat> and deleted Dion's actual niece's comment saying that she didn't say those things to her. You're talking to the wrong person. You're being lied to. And KJ blocked her. Like, that's disgusting. Okay, and then I came across this. This is in the Facebook group. So it says here, it appears KJ's yapper has gotten herself into more legal-ish. So this person says, why were all the posts of this family taken down? Mouth says, Story's going in a different direction. Stay tuned with the heart. Wow. Then the, other, then the person says again, um, Thank you for the answer. And then this person says, I read it on another page. You got a cease and desist letter from Dion's attorney. Is this true? So what I'm thinking is, well, obviously it is true because I have the proof. And that's why she's taking everything down because she's in shit yet again and she's being sued for the sixth fucking time and has the balls to lie and say the story is going in a different direction. Oh, it's going in a different direction, all right? Your ass is getting sued and you've been getting cease and desist from this man. You're sick, Katie. You're fucking sick. <laughs> nice face. All right. What else do I have? That would be it. Um, that and I have got... Okay, that's the court thing. All right. Now I wanted to read you this as well. Oh man, now I gotta find it again. Sorry guys. Um, no, no, no. There it is. Okay. So this was put by Balls 2.0 in the Facebook group. <clears throat> and this is Dion speaking to a person. So it says, Hi, I am an account that calls out Katie Joy Paulson, aka without a crystal ball. Have you seen the post she's been uh, making about you recently? They seem like they're very serious allegations. Did you know she's been in several defamation lawsuits? Hello there. Thank you so much for reaching out to me. I'm so sorry about this. Yes, I'm aware that she's been in several lawsuits, but she has fucked with the wrong person and family because unlike her other families, I don't know what the truths about them actually are or not, but I absolutely never did any of this shit. And I'm not just denying it as a means to deflect. I'm denying it because it simply never, ever happened. And that what's worth... Worse is both my niece and nephew both have admitted 
that it's all lies. <clears throat> My niece even commented on her page and post letting her know that it's a lie and requesting she remove it immediately. And then the person replied, says there's someone else in comments right now. And if I could read these, I would love to. But of course, I probably can't. Yeah, it's very hard to read. Of course, she blocked my niece and ignored her request. So this right here, the white ones are um, the niece, the real niece telling KJ to stop it and take these down. And she blocked her. KJ will try and ruin you. So disgusting. For people that have committed such a nasty, banned, disgusting act on innocent children, they should be placed under a jail. But I've just never come close to such a disgusting act. Reply is, this must be heartbreaking and infuriating. It's totally against my core belief. Shake my head. I hate having to be on this side of telling someone of my innocence. And they reply, I'm so sorry. I hope you lawyer up. I know Kitty's current lawsuit is very expensive and she doesn't want or maybe doesn't have the means to get sued again. Hopefully. He says, I mean, literally not one thing she posted has ever had a police record nor a CPS record. Response, Katie will be looking into your entire family too. I'm sure of it. She has done it so many to so many different people. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. You can't just post things like this as they have severe consequences. Did she reach out to get your side? And then they said, um, okay, I already lawyer up. <clears throat> okay, so he says, LOL, I actually lawyered up yesterday. Good. I want her pockets, whatever is in them. And then the person says, she is selling the story to news publications. <gasps> she just bought a new BMW in December. Do I have permission to share? If not, I totally understand. He says, absolutely. Thank you for asking, though. I'll also be sending you other information as it happens. And then they say, appreciate it because the more of who share, the better. It's the best way to get Katie to back off. I saw you speaking to Brunel and she is amazing. He said, oh, yeah, she's the best you can get. Imagine having to fight such a lie. I rarely pay tabloids much attention. I'm from the old school where most of us knew it was being told and sold for attention, money, and fame. But they're mu such egregious uh, statements. And what's worse is, it's absolutely not true. But for her, not to do her homework, I mean, any dummy can report a plethora of lies against someone. I can't wrap my head around this. And then the person says, uh, I don't think, or he says, I don't think, I honestly don't think she's a very happy and I feel sorry for her if she hadn't done so much to so many. She's even said the most irritable things about her own family. Just to be clear though, she never reached out to you to get your side, just went to your ex. Well, there you have it. If she'll talk about her own family, no one else matters. And the person says, she said her son is capable of murder because he's autistic. He says, this is correct. She never reached out to me, although I would have never responded directly to her. Any communication between us, I would only allow my attorney to handle. She's too unhinged. Plus, it would be better to form a lawsuit to get into an arguing match. This person says she falsely accused a man of RAPE and then doxed him and his family and their business. Remember that, guys? That was the uh, booty call she had. And blame the man for RAPE. Let's just handle it in court. Okay, thanks for the clarification. That's how I like it. Of course, absolutely. And if you can't talk or speak about this anymore, I totally understand. And this is all from Dion. Thank you for this. I've already retained my attorney. She has absolutely nothing but my brother's old girlfriend literally making up lies. It's so crazy because she even states that I ran from Michigan to run from the feds. Shake my head. How did I run from the feds? And yet I can be found in the States. And if it were true, why would the mother just now say something? Where are the criminal charges? Where's the CPS case? I'm in total disbelief that anyone can make up such lies. Shake my head all over greed. After this past Tuesday show aired, she, be she because it became angry because there has been no mention of her children. <clears throat> So then they replied, oh, she does it all the time. She usually does it to these really religious families who don't believe in suing. But I figured she messed with the wrong person this time. And now national media outlets are starting to cover it because of the show and because she wrote it as truth. If she were a real reporter, she would know she needed to have facts before she started writing this bullshit. I hope you could take her down. And I am sorry she's putting you through this. I can't stand her at all. She doesn't care if they're lying. If they told her, she just runs with it without any real proof. And that's defamation and slander at the very least. And then he said, I will certainly sue her in a heartbeat. And that's the end of that conversation. And now I'm going to get to... 
this. Oh, come on, dude. Always does this to me. No. Sorry. I want notifications. Oh, is this it? I'm going to have to do this again. Sorry, guys. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Where does it start? Oh, yeah. Look at this. I don't know if I've told you all this, but I don't respond to other creators yelling about me. Yelling? So if you see one, please don't DM me about it. I really don't care. Yeah, you do, you fuck. Where is it? Okay, here we go. So this is to Katie Joy Paulson. A cease and desist demand. Remove posts, R.E., Dion, Derrico, and his family, and seize posting. Ms. Paulson, please be advised our office represents Mr. Dion Derrico and the Derrico family, and hereby demand you seize and desist posting any and all defamatory, slanderous, false statements, and remove negative verbal or written posts on any and all social <clears throat> media entertainment platforms, and refrain from emailing persons connected to Derrico's and the TLC show. It is obvious you create posts, falsehoods for whatever reason or reasons on you, on your known business sites without a crystal ball, without a crystal ball. However, your statements are against the laws of California and you have opened yourself and without a crystal ball up to costly litigation. Please understand that this season assist is being served upon you for the despicable and unlawful statements you posted and stated on your social media platforms, including, but not limited to, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit. I'm aware you have made these disturbing posts without conducting any research or diligence and have chosen to engage in writing false reports maliciously and willfully regarding Mr. Derrico. However, you have made statements and posts that are extremely unlawful and warrant the pending litigation of which this letter will be an exhibit. Here, you have posted incredulous and false references to Dion Derrico. Furthermore, you have blocked his niece, Sierra Chantal Walker, and her posting on Instagram, whereby Sierra stated your comments and statements were false. So you, and without a crystal ball, Jesus, intentionally blocked Sierra's truthful statement. To be clear, the statements you made in the post are extremely false, defamatory, and slanderous, which makes you and Without a Crystal Ball liable. There you go. You like talking about yourself in third fucking person mouth? Here you go. So now it's you and Without a Crystal Ball. Hope you like that. Moreover, you have no evidence to support the veracity of the statements of molestation and your false statements. False posts and false actions are harmful to Mr. Derrico and his family. If this person defamed is a public figure, he cannot recover unless he proves by clear, convincing evidence that the libelous statement was made with actual malice that is with knowledge that it was false or with reckless disregard or whether it was false or not. Another citing a bunch of laws and whatnot. Uh, California car courts further opine that public figures may prevail in libel action only if they prove that the defendant's defamatory statements were made with actual knowledge of falsehood or reckless disregard for the truth. Most importantly, the court... Fervently, it states, the question is not strictly whether the published statement is fact or opinion, but rather the dispositive question is whether a reasonable fact finder could conclude that a published statement declares or implies a proverbially false assertion of fact. So therefore, because she knew it was wrong and she fucking blocked her, the niece and deleted those comments and was told this was wrong and she went and ran with it anyways, she's fucked. <laughs> So therefore, you are liable for defamation per se, given the damaging statements regarding the untrue and blatantly false material posted, which you failed to research and obtain evidentiary proof to validate the unfounded statements you publicly made. Mr. Derrico is not a pedophile, nor has he molested children or harmed anyone in any capacity whatsoever, and we challenge you to prefer evidence to support such baseless accusations. Moreover, Ms. Derrico has insurmountable evidence that disputes your reckless, unresearched, and unlawful statements. Ultimately, you have harmed his character as well as his financial status, which is the basis for this pending litigation. You knew that the statements regarding molestation were false, given that Mr. Derrico has a show with his children. He has no charges or convictions of the same and is not listed on any sexual offender list. Your actions are not taken lightly, and you have our attention and will have to answer for your actions, inactions, in a court of law.
Additionally, the law will not shield you from making defamatory statements based upon a person's word without further research, as the law identifies you as a republisher of defamation. Evidence of your research, further research as the law, sorry, evidence of your malicious intent is that you blocked and removed the truth from your Without a Crystal Ball website and social media pages, which is rendered by Dion's niece, Sierra, specifically stating, I am asking for this to be taken down. These are false information. This is Sierra Chantel Walker. This alone indicates that you were severely defaming Mr. Jericho, as well as fraudulently sorry, misrepresenting Sierra, for which you were placed on notice but chose to disavow. We will be requesting a court suspend your social media accounts for unlawful and harm harmful defamatory content due to your reckless position of such horrendous content as if it is true. Please happen, please happen, please happen, please happen. Your actions are reprehensible and must be stopped in effort to prevent your perpetration of known misrepresentations against Dion, the Derrico family, and others. After receipt of this notice, any posting regarding Dion, Derrico, and the Derrico family remaining on any social media platform will be deemed further harassment, slander, defamation per se, and false misrep misrepresentation. As a final tip, we urge you, to govern yourself accordingly and share this correspondence with your legal counsel immediately. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am loving this for her. So that's why she's been deleting things. But if any one of you that are watching this video see anything um, that she has been posting and I don't catch it or you think I'm not going to catch it, my email is Nicole, all small caps, Nicole, N-I-C-O-L-E, F-E-R-A-N at Outlook.com. Email me anything you guys find and I'll keep putting them in my videos just because, you know, sometimes I don't get everything. I'm on a lot of platforms and I'm on, and I'm always looking and I'm always getting notifications and stuff like that. And I do get people telling me things, but sometimes I don't catch it all. But, um, you know, if you feel comfortable, you can email me anytime and I'll be happy to share it if you'd like me to. Wow, this is great. Google, YouTube, legal support, meta platforms, a meta platform agent. You know, the fact that from what I'm hearing anyways, well, not hearing, but seeing she has been taking some of this stuff down. She knows she's in fucking shit and something's got to give. So 7M, what is their, their next court? I think is August 1st. And he is, t Dion is telling like in this, 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 this season, the sister, he is going to sue her. Like, you've done fucked up, Katie. Like, when are you going to stop? When? When someone gets hurt? When you put more people in danger? Do you know that if you say that someone is doing those things to their children and calling them a predator, people take that seriously and will do something to that so-called predator? Like, are you fucking nuts? Clearly you are. You're going to get yours, Katie Joy. And I am fucking here for it. And so are all my followers. And so is everyone else's followers who cover your bullshit. You're going down. And here's the hoping you go down. With a huge fucking bang. You fall off your high horse. Get out of your high chair. You're done, Katie. I really think you're done. I really feel like you're going to be done. And it's going to make every fucking platform that you crawl on a lot better. All right, guys. That's it for today. If um, I get sent anything else or if I find anything else, I'll do another video. But here's to hoping this is the end of Katie Joy Paulson. All right, you guys have a great night and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.